Hi, I'm Don Wilson, the Tech Doctor. It's not uncommon these days to find multiple power sources on a boat or RV. For example, you may have shore power cord, a generator, inverter, wind turbine, solar panels, etc. In this episode, let's look at the different types of power sources and see if there's a way to effectively use these sources for an efficient power system. On the AC or alternating current side, we have generators. The main benefit of a generator is that it's a source of AC power just like the utility or shore power except it uses fossil fuels, even when there's not much load. The best way to use a generator is to use it at full bore and shut it down when the demand is no longer near capacity of the generator. Which brings us to the inverter. The inverter is a great fill-in for the generator and can even partner with it for efficient use of resources. An inverter performs well in two conditions. First, low power draw for a long period of time like entertainment systems or small electrical devices. Second, a large draw for a short period of time like a microwave or a motor. These are the scenarios when the generator would be inefficient. Some inverters can even synchronize with the generator to provide higher surge capabilities for the generator, allowing a smaller size generator for the same installation. On the DC side, we have alternators. Your alternator is spinning away, providing amperage for charging the engine batteries and running electronics while motoring down the road or seaway. However, once the engine battery is charged, what you do with your alternator can help you with the rest of the system. If you have a 200 amp alternator and the electronics draw less than 50 amps, consider engaging your battery combiner to channel some of the available amperage to your house or auxiliary batteries. It'll charge like your generator would without another engine running. Solar and wind. These would be supplemental chargers for the battery bank, but you can use them just as we described with the alternator. Once your house battery is charged, you can use the excess current for another bank. Design your electrical system to ensure that you don't let a power source go idle when that resource can be directed to another portion of your system to be used later. Talking about the power sources, let's not forget utility or shore power. Obviously, the benefit of shore power is that it's constant, as long as you're not moving and the power grid isn't interrupted. This isn't necessarily unlimited power, it's limited to the breaker size feeding the outlet, but it's not intermittent like a generator or limited like a battery bank. This allows you to power devices and charge renewable storage, such as batteries. Another limitation is that it's not portable, and that's why you have to consider other sources, which I described before, to plan a proper onboard AC power system. For more information or other Tech Doctor articles, go to www.xantrex.com and click on Tech Doctor.